59 years old. I didn't know what I was gonna feel like each morning. And I'm halfway there and I don't ache. And I've been loved on from the moment I left. I mean, people that I would not thought of inviting me in their house and giving me places to sleep. America is much better than you read on the six, I'm sorry, your papers and you see at six o'clock. People are loving people, humanity loving humanity. That's what this is all about. Even your graciousness unto me is because of that. Now let's give it back. And if you're already doing it, let's engage somebody else. That's what this is all about. It's a humanitarian walk to say, you know what? I respect you where you're at. I may not agree with you, but I'm gonna respect you. And that's going to be what changes. And I want to just share this. In the, in the Old Testament, Nehemiah said this. He was torn and he was hurt because his community was in shambles. His community was torn apart. And he grieved because of that. I grieved because our communities were torn apart. And he said, God, if you will forgive me and allow me, I'll go serve. And I said, God, if you'll allow me, I'll go serve. I don't have a pill. I don't have a three-point message to tell you this is what's going to work. But I have one. It's God. That's right. It's God. They laughed at Nehemiah and said it ain't going to make a difference. And what you're building is going to fall apart. So don't even bother. And people are going to tell you, don't bother. It ain't never going to get any better. It's always been that way. And they said, you going to Cleveland, you walk, it ain't going to make no difference. It does. You are the embodiment of that difference. <laughs> because I had never had the right brownie. <laughs> now my wife don't make brownies, so this is not an insult to my wife. <laughs> but man, this lady gave me a brownie and the thing was good. <laughs> it was moist. It was like I could do a Duncan Hunt commercial. <laughs> and she says, help yourself. That's what I do. A guy pulled up and said, hey, I got to give you some ass money, though. He said, yes, I do. And he said, stay right there. And he reached into his console and gave me. So many people stopped and said, you need a ride? You broke down? They said, you're going to Chicago? <laughs> I said, yeah. So when you start to do whatever it is God has sanctioned you to do, don't worry about people amening you. You do it. Amen. You do it. Right. Where, where, where am I going? Where am I going? Where are the two of these at? Oh, man, I just hey, yeah, right behind you. <laughs> you. You two guys, come here. Young lady. Y'all come here. This is not about their future. This is about now for them. And they're going to model what we do. And we got to do the best by them and engage them so they're not going to their fifth, their fifth, their sons and friends' funeral, but they're going to their graduation. Mm -hmm. That's what this is about. We have to love beyond our differences. Now, I may not like you, but I'm required to love you. Amen. And let's do that. I mean, thank you, Cleveland. I didn't come to preach. <laughs> we don't get on the road because at, 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 at old school, at old school, you all don't preach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Thank you, Saint. 